there's a ton of these companies that are not just the big tech players that are building really interesting and successful businesses at all stacks. Frontier model, applications, all of them essentially work. You have to think about like, well, do I have to train my own model? Do I have to retrain a model? Do I have to fine tune it? Do I use meta prompting? How does it pitch in? What are other people doing with AI? Do I have a unique angle? All of those standard questions apply, but I think there is a great opportunity for startups. AI can amplify morality because it can be a very good foil and discussion and companion agent. You know, if you talk to Inflections Pi, it can help you understand the moral nuances of a question. What might be your better self in doing something? But it doesn't necessarily do that because it depends a little bit on what you as a human being bring to the equation. AI is amplification intelligence. So it can amplify your learning, your quest to be moral, your curiosity, your open-mindedness to it. But it can't make you be moral. Now, obviously, with these AI models, we try to train them so that, you know, if you show up and say, like, I'd like to build a bomb, it says, please don't do that. That'd be a terrible idea. Let me try to talk you out of it, and that will help. But ultimately, it helps you amplify on the path that you want to walk, and obviously, it tries to nudge you towards a moral path. I don't think human intelligence is becoming any more artificial with amplification intelligence, AI, than it was before. This question does remind me of a classic, I think a 1972 artificial intelligence research paper, which said artificial intelligence or natural stupidity. That range in human intelligence, where you have intelligence and stupidity, you have awkwardness, you have amazing grace, you have genius insight, you have failure to reason, all of that exists within human intelligence. The fact that we now have a tool that will help us with that I think we'll just make it better because like one of the ways that I use AI is I say, here's my argument, how would you argue against it? And then I understand some of that and I go, oh yeah, I should address point number two much better. And I think that actually doesn't make us more artificial, but actually more human and more truthful.